spearheaded by Lewis Dodgson, Biosyn Genetics ushered in a new era of bioengineering, building a utopia for their dinosaur creations. But in the shadows, Dodgson was devising a more sinister plan. Is this chaos theory? They were engineering prehistoric locusts, capable of destroying any crop or farmland not using Biosyn seeds. Doctors Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant discovered their plans and infiltrated Biosyn's restricted research area. They were able to collect the DNA evidence they needed to pr prove Biosyn's nefarious intent. Attempting to cover his tracks, Dodgson destroyed the evidence, causing a catastrophe in the valley. He would meet his own demise as a raging inferno tore through the area, putting all life at risk. Now, if he didn't try to cover, cover up the evidence, he wouldn't have died. Most of the dinosaurs were saved, and the fire was contained. Was there some die from the fire? The valley, however, remains a scorched landscape in need of healing, with Biosyn's legacy left hanging in the balance. Wait, what? There's more to the campaign? That's why, because there's no spoilers for the movie. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. But with Dotson out of the picture, future could hold something amazing such as a permanent viable home for the dinosaurs i like the sound of that owen we do have the experience to take this on it's one thing we don't do it's easy wait is that the one that you get the kick attack again to really get this right i think we're gonna need some help funny you should mention that i have just the right people in mind Woo. Call Ramsey Cole. When I think about everything, what really gets me the most is seeing these animals injured. The buildings, bank accounts, and egos can be rebuilt, but a dinosaur is a walking miracle of evolution and science. They really are a miracle. Born of science and dogged determination. And sadly, a lot of sacrifice, too. And we can't let that be for nothing. Where do we start? We triage the situation. Find the dinosaurs most in need of medical care and treat them first. Agreed. Then we focus on repairing what we can. It looks like the fire damage is minimal in some places. Sounds good. Let's get started. We should get the essential systems back first. Let's start by repairing the hydropower hub. Yes, right. Energy is the first step towards getting us back up and running. Exactly. We sort that out, and we get our core buildings operational again. Uh, how do I... How do I... How do I repair you? Oh, backup generator. Of course. Duh. But wait, is there, is there like a pull out? Is there a thing for like burnt trees? Oh, imagine if it was like an aesthetic thing for like burnt trees like this. I wonder if that one's the way. Which one is the one that the gig get broken to? I'm guessing it's one of those two. Or it could be one of these. Because I'm trying to. Where's the gig at? Uh, hmm. So, the, oh, I should have like this the map. Oh, that's changed. I only build it in here now. 
Okay. It's the same size. I should have done this with it. Yeah. A repair in progress. Can I speed it up? Because you know, repairs take so long to do. There we go. Claire, I've just received a report about our transport teams. They're grounded for now by the weather. We can't move any dinosaurs captured by the DFW at the moment. Well, that's not good. So, what do we do? Wait for better weather. Why risk anything? You know what happens when we rush something. Uh, yeah, well, I see your point. Boom. Making a shelter. There we go. Easy. But this is cool. It's like a second campaign. That's actually pretty cool. Does it make sense why they cut it in half for the dev mode? Because all the spoilers in the movie, the whole thing burned down. They posted that Dawson that looks like they, they said Dawson's dead. Because I was kind of hoping he would have survived, you know? Like how he died the same way Nedger died. Owen, remember when you said we're going to need help? Which time? The time the park fell apart, the time we were chased by my own raptors, the time the volcano went off and we had to run down the hill. Well, <laughs> you rolled, but... I get it. You know what I meant. Anyways, help has arrived. You remember Dr. Satmer hey. and Dr. Grant? After all, This is the direct through? voice actors? Yes, I do. I just can't believe we're all back here again. <gasps> How can we help? It is the voice actors. Right now, we could use some more personnel, specifically scientists. I might know one or two hundred. We're going to need anyone specializing in paleontology or paleobiology. Or paleobotany. That's not Samuel. Know them all. You know, it's amazing that a lifetime of studying dinosaurs might just get you noticed, but run from a few and <laughs> you're kind of a rock star. <laughs> also, I just realized, um, in Thor Ragnarok, I Thor Love, Love and Thunder, Sam Neill is Odin in, 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 the, in the play plays. I just realized that when I was watching a, a YouTube video about, about the Fang movie, I was like, wait, what? I was like, wait, wait, he's in there? Wait, what, I, what do we have? I have logistics, welfare, motivated. Uh, do you think cheap or something? I don't. Dude, I'll just uh, to, uh, altruistic salary. Welfare and biases in chairs left areas of wild. Uh, can we come for house if the wild wildfire debris is cleared? Oh. Ellie, why are we here? Really, what are we doing? I made a promise to myself I would never. Never get mixed up in this business again, and yet... I know, but once you see these magnificent creatures, you really feel the history of this planet, its life, its ecosystem. I wouldn't miss that for the world. I know, but... There's always that underlying need to get ready to run. Well, yes, there is that, but... Can we just take in the good parts for now? Your life's work is living all around us. Yep. Still gets my heart beating. Ah, look at this outcome. Look at these dinosaurs. Don't you wish Ian could be here with us? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> well, we wouldn't let him drive. Now, we've got some debris blocking the dinosaurs. I think if we could open up a path through this part of the facility, the dinosaurs could reach a lot more usable space. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm guessing we could do that by cleaning up the section of scorched earth here. 
We'll give him a little breathing room, but it won't be easy. You ready for a hard day's work? Well, you know me. Ready when you are. Hmm. Oh, can I only do one at a time? What's with the little crane thing? That's cool. Hmm. I wonder how long this campaign is. Is there, is there also, also other dinosaurs around here? I don't see any. Hmm. Also, what's interesting to me, why in Jurassic World Dominion, why do they have the, um... There's a good stretch of beautiful land in the valley, untouched and perfect for the dinosaurs. But to get them there, we'll need to move the animals through a lot of fire-damaged forest. Here's the path that Ellie and Alan laid out. Many of the dinosaurs have the instinct to move in herds, in packs. We convince a few and the others will follow, even the solitary animals. Once they see a large migration, well, they have to tag along. And the predators will go where their food does. They always do. Okay, so how about we mobilize our ranger teams to wrangle them through the path? It'll be like a cattle drive, but with vehicles, and the cows weigh eight tons. So where are they moving to? Come on. Come on, guys, this way. This is fun. This is really fun. I, I, I like doing this. Hold on. That way. Oh, is it working already? Huh. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck. Uh... 
Okay, how do I do this? Come on. My gosh, this is annoying. Especially the big guys. Okay. Come on. Come on, Patasaur. Or the plot against or whatever you are, I think you're a Patasaur. Plot is coming. Giants are coming here. Sir. Come on. This thing forever. Oh my gosh, come here. Can you not cross the fence? Yeah, I'll probably just cut this out until I, you know, or speed it up at least. Can I actually sedate you, move you? Why can't you go over the super fence, huh? Hold on. Is the super fence in the way? That way you can't get through. Oh no! Really? That fence is that, that little fence is in the way, so you can't get through.
That's so annoying. Okay. I see how it is. There we go. Made some great progress to this point, Claire. I completely agree, but we need to keep moving forward. What's next for the dinosaurs? Research outposts. We can construct or repair what we need. Great. Let's get on it. <sighs> Remember when we first saw the dinosaurs, Alan? When the promise of Jurassic Park was so alive? Yeah. I was overwhelmed. We all were. And the potential filled me with hope. It was magic. It was, Ellie. It truly was. But like all magic, it was just an illusion. We didn't realize the consequences of bringing them back. Yeah. We may not be able to change the past, but we can learn from it. Really? Like when they failed again with Jurassic World? <laughs> All that technology. We do not See, need those. This would never happen if they, they had. Had they had better security do, with the Dominus Rex. But it's a theory that Dominus Rex escape was an inside job. So effectively monitor the animals and their welfare, you know? Correct. Vigilance. Exactly. Boom. Oops. Hungry. Oh, ground nut. Okay. Ground leaf. Okay. Anything now, please? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna say um, well, I'll do after this for the studio. Um, we'll see you all next time for more Jurassic World campaign.